since it is for the benefit of a community, tethered to the disadvantaged stump of illiteracy and wind on the milk of a cake ideologist. Nzoba, I accept your invitation to Joshua Ebetete into a new political era flowing with milk and honey and nurture it into an excellent terrain of modern civilization. Trailing like a foolish fly after an oozing saw. Leave me alone, you good for nothing layabout. Okay. Hi. So, what I am saying, Mazi eh, is that this community eh, is overwhelmingly blessed materially, culturally, politically. And socially, but it has been abused, bastardized, bemused, and flabbermly overgasted by externally teleguided, selfish neocolonialists. Yeah, 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 yeah. What teacher? When you were going about with the white man, did you see me? You know, ABC class. Did you see me? No. Why? My brain would tell big or you Oh, I'm sorry, Mazi Bukwe, if I have bamboozled you with my grammatical innuendo. But what I'm saying is that the problem of this community is preposterously destabilizing. And if you don't, if you don't know, Mazi Bukwe, Mazi Bukwe, to be able to achieve a revolution and revolutionize this village. What a shame. Ignoramus. But Lomi, are you a he goat? Why don't you want to leave me alone? Look, I don't have any time for village labas like you. Okay, this is an insult. Yeah? What do you think you are, self? A princess. Daughter of Igwe Agirega Omenoko Wan of Ebe Tete. And you are proud to broadcast it? Yeah? Yes, why not? We did not buy it. So, find yourself another idle girl like you. Nkechi, I may be lay about, eh? I may be lay about, but I am better than your illiterate father. We you call yourself Yugwe. But Lomi. Princess Bakwoko. Princess Bakwoko, there. But Lomi. Who is troubling you? Is it not this uh, uh, illiterate uh, uh, Igwe's daughter? Or you will go after Uh huh, but thank you. Thank God, thank God that your kind of person is in this way to see that things move well. Thank God! 
People, we know that you are the one ruling. You are the one ruling. If not for your wisdom, where would we have been? Where? Um, where? Bartholomew, thank you very much. Mm. I pray to God Almighty, He gives me the wisdom to serve. He will. Oh, yes. Ah! He will. Look at it. Ah? He will give you. <laughs> okay, ah! Bartholomew. Eh? We shall see, eh? Okay. We shall see. Okay. Hmm? Uh, from the meeting? Yes, from the meeting. Okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Who is that? Did you go where, where? The praying monkey. That is me. Always at a last. Oh, yes. Yeah. The monkey that is careless falls from the tree. That is me. Did you go? I go there. Come on, I can't come there. I'm going to go. It's me, I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go. Did you go where, where? I go there. I go there. What is happening? Agunde. Hmm? The gods are benevolent. They should be. Nzoba. Eh? I was just coming to your house. Is that so? Yes. I hope it's well, because the visit of the masquerade is never without message from the gods. Agunde. Eh? Uh, our people say, Abba or Dickies? Abba, yeah. Oh, man, no. What about Abba? Any discussion behind the great man mm -hmm. must be done again. Oh, no, no, you go see. All the bar since ages, he's been there. Digwe, we like to see you immediately. Is that so? Yes. Okay, okay. I will go straight and see him. Okay. Eh? Yeah? I'll go and see him. Okay. Wait your people for me. Eh? Yeah? I met Nze Udenza on the way, and he said he wanted to see me. Yes, Zoba. You know this, um, in the week and your calf land fight, give judgment. Could you come visit me? You are think important. Igwe, I don't know why you have allowed that case to linger. We decided on it against Okafo. Let it remain like that. Huh? Agree your mind. Mm -hmm. Okafo. Leave land. Bam, bam. Yes, let him leave it completely for Ibe Wike. Thank you, Zoba. Igwe. Uh, Igwe, that land at Abomiri. What is, what is do it? Uh, let us sell it and share the money. Yeah. I'm going to kill us. You are the Igwe. You have the right. Abwara will not kill. Anything. You won't kill us. No. My hand. Not there at all. Hey! Bato. Bato, what is it? You were not there when this girl gave me insult of my life. Insult what? By who? Who else but uh, Nkichi? The princess? Yes. How? Why? Because I asked her for one small uh, friendship. You say? Small friendship. Love. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Men. Men. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, why are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's not like I'm laughing at you. Well, I'm just wondering what made you think you're qualified. The friend in Kitchen, the princess. Oh, oh were you drunk? <laughs> you, you're insulting me. You're insulting me. But, 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 see, it's not like I'm insulting. But, okay, look at it from this angle. Is it not you that is insulting yourself? Mm, how? When you will not cut for according to the size of this <coughs> amount. me. Huh? You, you want to kill the princess? Princess, princess, my foot. Who was her father? 
who was her father before before he was made the Come on, uh, uh, fisherman. Hey, stop your mouth. Is he your father? Look, that is not important. What is important now is who he is right now. Igwe Agrega Omenoko the first. That includes the nine villages. And even the adopter too. Okay, he's included. <laughs> uh, his royal illiterate highness. You see, that is your problem. Look at me and you. What are you? Or even me. Educated laborers. Yeah? After all the schools, you now depend on the common illiterate to feed, common shop. Look, if you don't come now, let's work, you know what will happen. Well, you don't you have me finish. Now I know we'll work against them. But to come and walk, oh. I know they walk. Come and walk. Come make we walk, oh. One guy will kill you this bitch. I have seen it. You went to all the schools, and now you're back in the village. Walk. Mm. Zoba, your offer is mouth watering and ambition wetting. It is also tempting. But I'm sorry. I'm not thinking in that direction at all. <laughs> Igwe Omenokaku is my good friend. Um, and I have no reason to take away his throne from him. Maze, Abarakwe, look. Our plan is not out of an evil design, but from a deep concern for the welfare of our community. We need a man who can represent us anywhere. And you are that man, educated and exposed. Zoba? No. Igwe Omenoko is my friend. No, 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 hold it. Let me tell you. No man is as close to Igwe as myself. I am his closest advisor. But there is a need to effect a progressive change in our town, a better day for all. <laughs> the Obana does not follow the cow for nothing. Tell me, what are you really after in this matter? I sense you have a hidden agenda. Me? Hidden agenda? Ah. See, let me tell you. If the blind man fails to eat the apple under his foot, he may never eat at all. Abarakwe, open your eyes. Open your eyes. This is a wicked design against a man who has done no evil. I will not be part of it. Good day. Are you shouting like an iron dog masquerade? This eagle ship in a better turn. Uh, what about it? Why must he remain in a banana? Why? Why must he remain there? Even when they are in the minority. Bartolome. Bartolome, son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Wait, too. Do you know, sometimes I wonder whether you wrote this your school exam yourself. Eh? Yes. Why? Hey, because you don't seem to understand what you mean by simple hereditary. They inherited it from their forefathers. I think it should change. It should change now. Government is changing very fast. And we have to change with it. How? We have to call a meeting. Change the constitution. And then make the worship rotational. Uh, portion by portion. Huh? Men.
That man is not our right to our own opinion. I have a right to my elders. Calm down. Ibe, Agoba, what's all this? Elders are pots of wisdom. We've not come here to fight, but to take a lasting step to bring change in our town. A better day. Eh? I've not brought every elder here, but only those who have the interest of our town at heart. We need a man who has top government connections to be at the helm of affairs of our town. A better day. That's it. Mm. We are in this community. Shall we find such a man? Uh, what about Mazi Abarakwe? Have we talked to him? Eh? Huh? Abarakwe? Uh. No. Leave Abarakwe out of this. He is a very selfish man. He has no leadership qualities. <sighs> um, Errors. Have we thought of my teacher? Have we asked him? Yes, teacher. Nicholas Okorigwe. I think he is the right candidate. Yes. 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 It's a you see now. He can carry us along. Yes. 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 Nicholas, there is no reason why you cannot become the Igwe of Ebetet. You are educated, exposed, and highly connected. You are the man for the throne, and you must have it. Zoba, uh, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Yes, but the benefits outweigh the uneasiness. Think of the power of an Igwe, absolute power. And if you become the Igwe, both of us will use the throne to our personal enrichment and to suppress all our detractors. For example, think of the land at Abu Miri, enriched with mineral resources. If you become the Igwe, we can sell that land to an oil company and share the money. Think about it. Two-edged sword. Yes, but you should use the sword of power as it will suit your whims and caprices. What if we fail? <laughs> Leave that to me. I have never been a party to failure. We have laid our foundations properly, so we cannot fail. Well, since it is for the benefits of a community, tether to the disadvantaged stump of illiteracy and wind on the milk of a cake ideologist, Nzoba, I accept your invitation to Joshua Ebetete into a new political era flowing with milk and honey and nurture it into an excellent terrain of modern civilization. <laughs> Nicholas, those who answer in times of need are all time heroes. I am proud of you. I will tell the people of your patriotism. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Where are you going to? Huh? Where are you going to? Uh, I'll go township. You're going to? Uh, uh, Abuja, uh, Lagos. Even just, I uh, won't come out anywhere. Hey! <laughs> but <laughs> you are going to the city, Lagos, Abuja, or even just, with your climbing rope and cutlass. A with or without the rope. I won't live here, I won't come out. I don't want to stay here again. I'm okay. tired. It's all right, but nobody is stopping you from uh. going to the city. Eh? Uh. But if you must go to the city, eh? Uh. Eh, let me inherit your climbing rope and your cutlass first. Because where you're going to, eh? There are no pantries. Oh. All you have there is motor cars and tall, tall buildings. Motor cars? Yes, and so you wouldn't be needing all these ones. Uh, but, Bato, mm -hmm. uh, if you go to the city now, uh. what will happen to Nkechi, the princess? Or are you tired of running after her? 
I feel close that more. Oh, you have lost her. As it is right now, once you go to the city, bam, you have lost her. Not him. No more, no less. Went. Yes. I'm not going again. You see? I'm not going again. No, nobody. I'm not stopping you. You can go. I am the one that said I'm going to town. I am the same person that said I'm not going again. Yeah. <laughs> I beg to take my leave. Come. Zoba. Igwe. You are good, sir. A better te, sweet belle. A better te, thank you. Big, 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 big. <laughs> Igwe. I have no choice but to render selfless service. True service to my land. You are like a big brother to me. So I serve as unto a brother. You will live long. <clears throat> you, my ruler, and you, trust well, well. <laughs> I trust God pay you back. You will. My portion remains selfless service to the throne and my community. I must go now. Thank your family. Greet them. If we're greeting them. <laughs> I will greet them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but look, <clears throat> like a he goat, desperate to have a smother, he does not allow me single rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonders shall never end. When thou say begin to give bugs, <laughs> but, and that's, but he's in love. Love, love Gwa. Hey, please, don't allow me to throw up. In love with you, Biko. Love is blind. Don't you let him fall into a pit in his blindness. Where are cats that rats are asking for the hand of a princess? Village lay about. No position is permanent, my sister. The desire of a man's heart is in his life. Oh. So, why don't you give him a chance? Fear. Fear. Zoba, you will have to see the Igwe. Elders of Ebetete, I greet you. We greet you. You see? Wisdom in a bag. Only the wise enjoy the content. Okay. That's true. Your decision today is the greatest ever made in this our land for the good of our community. Mwatija, you have had them. The crown of the Igwe will soon settle on your head. It's up to you. No, no, no. <coughs> <clears throat> Wisdom, they say, is a gift. One. Though some of you did not break through the cutly donor membrane of the four walls of the academia, <laughs> you possess the improved version of King Solomon's wisdom. <clears throat> I will not fail you at all. I will serve you with an utmost sense of patriotism devoid of any iota of selfishness, personal aggrandizement, and the poor spirit of cynicism. <laughs> um, elders of our land, I thank you all. I beg to leave. <laughs> Play this game, you are wasting my time. Eh? If you don't know how to play, tell me I'll teach you without collecting money. Baba, come out there. Butterfly won't call yourself bed. At least I know that uh, this is different from running after the Igwe's daughter and kitchen. Like fly over ro ro rotten meats. Like I'm a madam like you. Are you sure you know what you just did? Okay, watch out. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Idiot. Um, Mint. Yes. 
Have you noticed the uneasy calm that has just descended on this community? As if something so terrible is going to happen. I don't know. Bartolome. Hey! Prophet of doom. You, you don't understand. What I understand is your mind is not in this game. And I'm beating you to it. No! No! You the mad? Your Royal Highness. Amade with the priest recommends that you take a secret bath at Ugua forever to avert the looming danger. You must not tell this to anyone to avoid playing into the hands of your enemies. Ugua forever? Yes. Bath? Yes. You have to go because our people say that all lizards lie prostrate. No one knows the one with belly ache. The heart of man is full of deceit. I uh, understand you well, well. So, it will. Let us meet at Ikeme Junction tomorrow at midnight. Hmm? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. For midnight. Uh, Igwe, remember, don't tell this to anyone. Even your wives, they should not know. Because we don't know where the danger is coming from. I am going. Thank you. You go Midnight. For me, the night. You go for the night. My brother, this bath, quickly, I can go go palace for my wife's new account. It's just down there, down there. Yeah. Disappearance of Igbo Menoko from this village. I've been very worried. My son, everybody is worried. I am most hit. My life has broken to pieces since the news. Eh, but Nzeo, you know, my friend said something about this before the incident. Your friend? Yes. Sit down, sit down. How do you mean? Have you noticed an easy calm that has just descended on this community? Mm. Just like, as if something terrible is going to happen. Bartolome! So, I, I suspect he may know something about the mishap of Igwe. Are you sure of what you're saying? Um, yes, we were just gisting about uh, uh, the state of Herbetete and things that are happening, and he mentioned it just like that. Okay, please make sure you don't reveal this to anybody. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, you can go. Okay. Uh, come, come. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Thank you. That boy is wicked. That boy is wicked. They didn't do it. He did not do it. Okay. That boy is innocent. Okay. Can you prove it? Prove what? That that boy is not guilty. Did you see him? When he killed the Igwe? You people are trying to frame the boy up. Yes! Stop! 
How can you say that? The man that feeds on another man's meat should first touch himself. Yes. That was one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Who's one? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Okay, JJ. Let's take it easy before we begin to tear ourselves into pieces. Uh, Uma teacher, see something. Mm. Um, yeah. I greet you. No, no, no. The matter at hand is pregnant. And unless we put dexterity into its midwifery, we may have a stillborn. It is not time for us to crawl and devour one another. As long as the whereabouts of Igor Menuko is still shrouded in indescribable mystery, we are incapacitated and demobilized. I, Nicholas, my teacher, suggest that we organize such parties to ferociously <laughs> ransack and comb the entire embedded. Before we draw any conclusion, because he may be alive. Through what? Through what? Through what? Yes, through what? And us. And us. What is through what? Are you people foolish? Nicholas is there. Brain is coming on our head. And you people are asking, through what? Through what? What has he said? Uh, in the, in the moment. What has he said? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. All that what he just said. Was for us to threat soft play. Yes. Uh, we should have all the facts uh, before we begin to approach our own play. Yes. 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 There is yes. need actually uh, yes. for us to organize such parties. Yes. Yes. Such yes. Yes. Yes.
You don't seem to be very happy. Anything the matter? I was even going to your house. Ah. Mm. Okay, let me enter so that we can go. There is something serious. <laughs> hey. What is it? Zeoba uh -huh. should tell the people who killed Igor Manukov. Why are you saying that? The person who does not know his man is a fool. Yes. He told me of his intention to eliminate the Igwe. Huh? Yes. Huh? And to install someone else. Who's gonna? Even said the Igwe is an illiterate and does not allow him to take over other people's land. How about Akwe? Do you realize the weight of this allegation? At first, I thought he was joking. He even tried to lure me into accepting the crown as the next Igwe. Huh? But of course I refused. <sighs> this is grievous. Hey. Um, Abarogwe, have you told anybody this? No, you are the only person who knows about it. Oh, good. Very good. Keep it to yourself. We have to take him unprepared. And you know, in three days' time, the meetings of the elders will hold. And that is the right time for you to mention it. You know, if you let it out now, we have lost. So, leave it till that day, hmm? I've had you. Oh, come on. Hey. Has he confessed? Oh. He has maintained that he's innocent. Eh? Mm. Uh, I'm innocent, though. I'm innocent. I did not kill you, woman, You people want to kill me for nothing. Stop crying. The truth will come out. If you're innocent, nothing will happen to you. It is only the head that gets the way of the bee, that gets stung. But let me. But let me. You are a criminal. Did you not talk to Clement before Igwe Monico was killed? Oh. Eh? How did you know about that? Oh. How? I never told him that Igwe Monico was going to be killed. I only spoke to him concerning the premonition I had that something terrible might happen because of an easy calm that hung over the whole of Ebetete before the disappearance of Igwe Monico. But uh, 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 are you saying you did not know that Igwe Monico was going to die? You are a liar, Bartholomew. You people should not condemn him before his judge. I still believe he is innocent. Uzo, Uzo, why not stop this here talk about his innocence? Uh -huh. He can't be innocent. Oh, don't mind him. A layabout can never be free from guilt. Uh -huh. ah. I'm innocent. Uh, I did not kill you, woman of God. Uh, I don't even have reason for it. Let me take one more. Let me just kill me.
of us in this town, yes. particularly the elders who have had sleepless nights and moments. We have also heard about so many things said of our late Igwe. We thank God we have performed some important rituals so our late Igwe could be buried in peace. The gush and spirit of the dead have also fought for themselves. What a man sows, he reaps. Yes. One. I am sure it will surprise many of you to know that it was Amarakwe who killed the late Igwe. Hey! Hey! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. He planned it with the second wife of the late Igwe so the son of this second wife could be the next Igwe. Obidia! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down. The Umwada will see to her punishment. Yes. <laughs> the body of the late Igwe will be buried tomorrow. So the elders hereby appeal to everybody to be law abiding. The situation is under control. My children, I am afraid. The thing that kills the mother rat does not allow the children to open their eyes at bed. They have killed my husband, your father. Now, they want you, my son. Mama, who? The evil doers. They accuse me of killing my husband. So as to make way for you to become the next Igwe. Mama. Did you really kill Papa? How could I? Eh? How could I? At least, you knew how deeply I loved your father. I couldn't have planned to kill him. Hmm? Oh. Mm. 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 Do you take your word to my sister in Benin tomorrow? Mm. The both of you will stay with her till all is settled in. Oh, let's go together. No, my son. I'll stay here. Or oh, they'll conclude that I actually killed your father, Jigwe. Mama. 
We really have to be careful. We don't want anything to happen to you. Please. Don't worry, my daughter. The God who drives away flies for the tailless cow will not forsake me. Hmm? Don't worry. Lives of others must have their own wisdom. Sure. Yeah. But Obidia will drink from the water of Ibudu River as prescribed by the oracle. Wow. So if nothing happens to her after two weeks, then she will know she is not guilty. No. Who's up? The oof. Drink it! 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 Drink it!